Hello, this is Dr. Janes, and today I'm going to talk about an interesting device that I built. Call, I'm going to call it a uh, spiral line transformer. And um, it uh, uses a transmission line effect. You know, tra Tesla is very interested in bifiler Tesla coils. And this is definitely a bifiler device. It uses transmission line effect to generate voltage. And you have to get it tuned in just right. And see, I have a neon light here. So I'm only putting in, you know, less than 30 volts, probably about 10 volts or so, and I'm getting hundreds of volts out when I get this uh, coil tuned in properly. Okay. Very interesting, huh? Let's see how it works. Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes, and today I'm going to talk about an uh, interesting transformer that I built. I call it a spiral line transformer. And basically, it doesn't have a primary. It's basically, uh, it's like a transmission line. I got the idea from um, when I was in grad school. We worked on some pulse power machines, and they used something called a spiral line generator to uh, generate the uh, initial breakdown of the Marx generator. Uh, and uh, the way it works is it has two two capac well, it's two windings. It's like a cross between a capacitor and a uh, inductor, a transformer, and basically they short the winding so that they uh, they short from one end of one to the other end of the other so that the current goes backwards on one and forward on the other and it uh, basically increases a creates an increasing voltage and uh, so you can create a high, very high voltage just with the transmission line effect. Uh, this is like a transmission line as well. Let's let's take a look here. So I took some audio cable and I just um, wound it around here. So it's like a bifiler Tesla coil. You know, Tesla is very interested in that as well. And so there's two windings. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to excite across the two windings here with a signal generator up here. And I've been looking for different resonances. When you hit the resonance right, what will happen is, is even though there's a very low voltage across here, you know, this is less than 30 volts across here, uh, across the two different windings of the transmission line, uh, as you send a, a, a waveform in here and oscillate it, it, at the right frequency, it can create a, so that the waves add up in voltage, you can create a big voltage across one of the windings from the bottom to the top. And so to demonstrate that, I uh, took a uh, clip lead and I hooked it from the top and the bottom of one of these windings to a neon light here. And what I'll do is I'll just kind of twiddle around in the volt in the frequency here until I hit the right frequency, and you'll be able to see. So twiddling the frequency here, and uh, when we get it right. We will see the light, neon light light up, and there's no way that this power supply is producing enough voltage because you need over a hundred volts to light up the neon light, yet it's lighting up because all the waves are adding up uh, together in sync, and they produce a high voltage here. And actually, there's a different resonance. So this is a this is a resonance that I found at uh, 850 kilohertz. But there's actually another one that's up higher, and we'll we'll twiddle around with that. Okay, so let's twiddle until we find that one. Okay, there it is, right there. Okay, and so for this particular coil, that resonance is about 2.5 megahertz. Okay, of course, if you had a longer transmission line, the resonance would probably be lower at a lower frequency. Anyway, very cool, huh? Spiral line transformer. Anyway, I thought you, this might be interesting. Okay, so yeah, see when I bring my hand close to it, it uh, destroys the resonance. Okay. Very cool, huh? Anyway. Anyway, this is Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching.